Okay, from left to right, we're here with Darnisha Bryce, Coach Stern, Ari Reams, after a loss against St. Joe's Brooklyn in the first round of the Skyline Conference playoffs. Coach, you start us off with an opening statement of the game? Yeah, I mean, I'm really proud of our guys. You know, obviously we dug a huge hole uh, down 14 nothing, and, um, you know, we, we did a great job coming back, as we always do, because we always fight, and I actually took the lead. So, yeah, I'm just really proud of them as a whole, the whole comprehensively the whole season. We, you know, we all got together on October 15th, uh, didn't, we didn't really know who was going to be on the team, and you know here we are fighting for a, a semifinal spot tonight. So uh, you know would have liked to have won tonight, won tonight, but you know obviously Tom does a great job, and they were prepared to take the lead like that tonight. Uh, you know, Darnisha, just going over to you. Uh, you know, this is your last game. Just touch on your student athlete experience over the past four years, and you know what it's meant to you. Uh, it was amazing. I had uh, many of individual accomplishments, but this season was one of my big contributions as a team. Um, something I'm really proud of. Of course, I feel like I had a lot more to give going forward, but we dug ourselves into a hole. We tried, so I can't be too upset about that. Let's get you another year. I wish. <laughs> Darnisha, I just have another question for you. So out there tonight, it was really a tale of two halves. I mean, the first half, you guys kind of dug yourselves in a hole, but you guys eventually regained the lead and kind of made things interesting towards the end. So what was the difference between both halves, in your opinion? I feel like the difference, it was like, it was a wake-up call. It was some of our last our last games, so we had to put our best foot forward. And uh, there's a couple of girls coming back next year. They can really benefit from this last game and our whole season all together. So I think it's, it was a pretty good effort the second half. All right, and Ari, kind of sticking on that theme, talking about players coming back, you'll be back next year for your senior season. Um, again, tonight was close, dug yourself in the hole early came out a little bit short, but as a whole, the season was a success. Like Coach said earlier, you know, you guys were picked to be eighth, and you guys entered with semifinals in reach. Uh, what did this season mean for you, and what do you think you guys are going to take going forward into next year? Coming into this season as like an underdog and people like underestimating you and thinking that you can't do something or accomplish this, being able to get into like the playoffs is a great accomplishment for this program because my past few years, we haven't came since like my freshman year, and this is something big to build off, so my senior season, it's I'm getting a ring. That's it. Uh, Coach, over to you. You know, you graduate a few key contributors this year. You know, what are you guys going to look for in the off season to really, you know, build build up and be better next year? And be back here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna miss each and every one of the seniors. You know, they've all contributed in different ways. You know, from Dez, who who uh, unfortunately got injured, to Darnisha, who again could have scored a lot more points this year. I held her back probably. Um, but, uh, you know, I look forward to these guys really loving basketball and wanting to get better and knowing they're a part of something real and tangible and they can get better and look forward to what's going to happen uh, next year. Uh, I'm, but I'm proud of all of them, freshmen to the seniors. Awesome, thanks. Any other questions, guys? Or? All right, thank you, Thank guys. you.